when I got my call, it was interesting because I had had some relatives who lived up in the area um, during elementary school, and then I had also even considered briefly going up there for college. Um, I decided to not, but when I, you know, was calling and, you know, saying this is where I went, they thought it was kind of a joke, and just because we were connected with the city already. Um, I would say I'm really grateful that I had, you know, taken seminary seriously. Um, not just really seminary, but just reading the scriptures. I feel like that's important. Um, those stories helped me out a lot, especially to be able to connect to people. And then with the MTC, I would have to say it wasn't, you know, you hear either I love the MTC or you don't. I'm sure there are people in between. Um, and I didn't really like the MTC. Like, I, the spirit was there, so I knew I was okay. But I personally was so afraid of being turned into like this robot missionary that I kind of shut down a little bit. And I remember I had recently read a book um, where there's a character who used to live in Kenya and they go to England and they're under a different name. That's not their real name. And I couldn't remember their real name. I could only remember their pretend name. And I just kept praying to Heavenly Father to help me remember this name because I felt like it was remembering my identity for some strange reason. And I was laying in bed and all of a sudden the name came to me and I knew that Heavenly Father appreciated who I was as a person and that he didn't want me just to be like a robotic missionary, which I was happy about. But that, you know, I think every, I believe that every person has unique like spiritual characteristics and personality attributes that will connect to certain people. And that's really important that you are the best you you can be.